Good morning! <laughs> it's a rainy day here in British Columbia, so I figured it might be a good time to make a video. I just woke up, the van is not clean or anything, but we're all friends now, I figured, so I want to start making some more real life videos about what the day to day really looks like uh, living here in the van. So uh, I know my last video was about disconnecting, but this video is going to be about my electronics, uh, how I make it possible to live in the van, how I get online, um, and how I power everything. So I know a lot of you have been asking about that. So this morning is going to be a good work day because it's raining outside. I'm going to wait till the rain lets up to go out for my ride and I'll kind of walk you through what that looks like. So I have four batteries in the van, one for the starter and then three auxiliary batteries. It lasts me about four days without turning the engine on. It's enough power for all my electronics as well as my mini fridge, which is really great having the fridge. So I just made some coffee, wake myself up a little bit here. Um, this is removable, Ooh. so I freeze up counter space if I ever need. <laughs> and then another fancy trick here is I have a removable, uh, uh, retractable power strip. <laughs> so this is where I plug everything in. Um, it has a USB, which is cool. I can plug in my phone here. Sorry about the camera, it's really shaky. Using a selfie stick is um, still learning the art. <laughs> so yeah, I have this power strip here. I can plug in my computer. And then in order to get online, I have a Verizon hotspot. It's a small monthly fee um, and that gets me connected. It doesn't really work for like Netflix or anything, but it'll get me online. It, it has basic internet, which is cool. And I am able to get online. I have this handy dandy lap desk, which turns my seat. Uh, into my home office <laughs> and I'll go ahead and pull up my computer here yeah and here's how I work today we're launching the new turn loose website which I'm really excited about so I'll definitely be sitting here and doing a couple hours of work but this is really all the space that I need when it's raining outside you know the van is a great place to get work done and like I said I have all the power that I need um, my next project hopefully is to put a solar panel on the roof so that I'm a little bit more self-sustained and that I don't need to, to charge these batteries with my engine. But for now, it's been great. Um, all my electrical was done by Tom at Freedom Vans. If you need any electrical done in your van, I'll link um, to his website in the description. So I had definitely had help wiring everything up, but it's been working great. And this is the way that I'm able to stay online. A lot of you guys ask how I make a living out here on the road, if I'm just kind of out here, like how, how I fund everything. And I have, freelance jobs that I do remotely here. So I am, I manage the marketing, I do writing. Um, I also make money racing as well as a professional racer. So it's just kind of putting together a program where there are things that I can do remotely, that I can do here online, where I make enough money to, to sustain my lifestyle. And I also am a business owner. So I just started Turn Loose. I'm sure some of you guys have seen, and that's not quite making me money yet, but that's the long-term plan is I'm investing time into that so that hopefully that will, um, be able to fund my lifestyle in the future and I can use that to inspire more people to get out and do what they love. So yeah, here's my home office setup here in the van, uh, my power and my electricity. So if you have any questions, uh, type them in the comments below and I'll see you guys after I get my work done. 